Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Seung Gil Lee from Kyung Hee University, South Korea. Actually, this is work of my student, but he, he couldn't come because of some visa problems. I present instead, instead of him. Okay, so the title of this work is Video in Painting for Arbitrary Foreground Object Removal. So motivation of this work is like this. Uh, we want to take a video of target object, but accidentally or frequently we come to include uh, an un unexpected uh, object in, in our video. So in that case, we'd like to edit a, a video a content matter, not time, time frame matter. So for, for example, I, in this example like this, um, I'd like to investigate, I'd like to see, take a video of that back, background. Uh, so I was taking a video, but uh, accidentally a guy comes into the scene. Um, and, and look at me, so I couldn't say that, please step aside because yeah, polite, my, I have to be polite. So I just take a video like that, and after that, I asked, asked to my uh, method to remove this and an inspected guy so that I can get the right side one that I really expected. So we, in, for, it, for this work, we propose the video and painting method for arbitrary foreground object removal. And to do this, uh, we propose a confidence score called NDD. Uh, which is a kind of uh, normalized difference between uh, observed depths from that uh, view frame, and then uh, the difference between observed, uh, observed depths and then predicted distance between the camera and then target, uh, potential target background. So if that difference is, it, it is small, that means that that potential point is, uh, has very high confidence to be a, my, my background. So I will use that com uh, corresponding potential point to fill in the missing part because removing foreground means that I have to fill in the missing background. So in order to do this, actually, I have to collect enough number of frames to collect the uh, high quality background information from other frames because there's a video, right? So if object is, I mean, unexpected object is, is moving around, and that's fine. I just take a video, right, while that unexpected object passed by. If a target object is, is static, then I have to walk around to collect enough number of frames to see the background, right? Okay, so our method has three steps. First, um, collect a 3D point cloud and then metric information using uh, simple structure from motion. So this gives uh, point, as far as point cloud information like on the bottom in the left image. And then based on this uh, point cloud information, we create a depth information at each uh, frame of my video. So this uh, depth information will be starting point of this NDD calculation. And also, uh, uh, matrix, matrix information between the frames also gives the uh, uh, relative three location of each, each frame, time, each, each uh, frame at, at when we take the video, uh, make it possible to calculate the three di distance between the camera and the target background object. Uh, secondly, uh, we collect the potential corresponding uh, background point. So uh, in this video, let's see that, that there's a current frame where uh, we, we cannot see the background and there is a, a, a blocking foreground object that is the one that we want to remove. So we have to collect the, collect the potential uh, information from other view, view, uh, view frames. So we first uh, assign a ray segment, uh, like, like on the top, which intersect the background, and then uh, project this ray segment to each uh, uh, viewpoint frame, uh, building, uh, collecting a truncated epipolar line. So all points on this epipolar line will be a potential background, uh, background point. In other words, we will uh, collect the potential background color information from all these epipolar lines. The problem is that not all those points are very, uh, has very high quality, so we have to give, some, we have to assign some kind of confidence or penalty, okay? So the, the last step is uh, color calculation using our NDD. So NDD will give some uh, confidence on those potential background points. So for, ex for instance, oops, okay. So for instance, uh, we have, uh, okay, okay, marker, okay. So we have a, a potential point on the top at that ray segment, which shows that much difference between the depth and the three distance means that uh, this has very low, low confidence. But uh, if we uh, see the, the point B, which actually intersects the background, has almost a similar uh, identical three distance and depth, which gives a small uh, NDD score, which works as a kind of weight. So finally, we give this all weight to all potential points and accumulate all color information to calculate the uh, final uh, color, inf color value of that background point to, to fill in the missing part. 
Okay. So uh, if we calculate all these entity values at each frame, we will build this kind of graph showing, uh, showing all, accumulating all entity values. So if we have very good point like B there, that means that in this graph, we will have zero touching position like that. If we have very uh, missing location uh, of ray, ray segment, then there is no zero, point, uh, zero, zero touching point like that. So that means that, oops, okay. <laughs> so if we see this graph, we simply can uh, get if this frame is good or not. So, all this frame selection can be explained in the poster. So anyway, through, throughout this uh, frame selection, we can uh, discard some uh, frame which uh, contains not good points. So I will show some video for for, for, for a sample lizard. Take only several seconds. <laughs> so so on the top is input video. Right side is state of the art work appeared at SIGGRAPH at 2015. And the bottom on the right side is our final lizard showing sharper and then cleaner uh, background uh, uh, foreground removal lizard. So all remaining parts of this video can be seen at the poster. A climax is quite interesting, okay? <laughs> so please uh, come to our poster for more details. Thank you.